It's February 1967 and Captain Hilliard A. Wilbanks is flying his Cessna 01E Bird Dog over the jungle of Vietnam near Dalat. His job is as a Ford Air Controller or FAC. The purpose of an FAC was to support army units with visual reconnaissance as well as identify targets for the army or for airstrikes. With no clear battle lines in Vietnam, this was perilous but essential work. The Cessna 01E, or Bird Dog, is a dog without teeth. With a cruising speed of just 104 miles per hour, they carried no ordnance, with the exception of four phosphorus rockets. The rockets gave off plumes of white smoke and could mark targets. Wilbanks is flying over a tea plantation near the road from Saigon to Dalat. He's providing reconnaissance today for the 23rd Battalion Rangers of the South Vietnamese Army who are being led by a US Army advisor, Captain R.J. Wooten. A company of rangers has gone missing, and they're in the area trying to understand what happened and where the missing men are. From his position in the air, Wilbanks scanning the area figures out why. The communist North Vietnamese army have captured a tea plantation and set up an ambush upon two hills overlooking the road. They dug hundreds of foxholes and set up machine gun emplacements on the high ground. With dread, Wilbanks realized that Wooten and the Rangers were walking directly into the trap. Getting on the radio to Wooten, he hurriedly relayed the information that they were in extreme danger. At that exact moment, the NVA sprung the trap and started their attack on the Rangers below. Back in the bird dog, Wilbanks fired a phosphorus rocket into the hillside and radioed for support from three helicopters nearby and two F-4s in the area. In response to the plume of white smoke from the rocket, the NVA threw everything they had at the bird dog and the Rangers. 60 mm mortars, 30 caliber machine guns, American BARs, as well as small arms fire. The hills erupted with fire. The Rangers were pinned down and suffering heavy casualties. The helicopter gunships arrived and Will Banks directed them in. They managed to wreak some vengeance on the NVA, but under heavy fire, they too were damaged. With one of the three, now with severe hydraulic problems, they were forced to retreat. As soon as the thwomp thwomp of the rotors diminished, the NVA redoubled their attack on the bird dog and the rangers below, charging down the hills to take the ambush to its conclusion. Horrified, Wilbanks got back into the fight Targeting his remaining rockets at the NVA troops, he managed to slow the advance. But the North Vietnamese, in a fury, targeted the slow-moving bird dog. His rockets spent, Wilbanks had nothing left to throw at the NVA, except his M16 rifle. He carried an M16 in case he was grounded and needed to defend himself. But now he set it to fully automatic and placed the barrel out the side window of the Cessna. Aiming his plane, he came in low, strafing the NVA troops on his pass. Having completed a pass, he pulled up, changed the magazine, turned around and went in again. Prepared this time, the NVA shot back. The bird dog was hit several times, but he got off another magazine before pulling up, reloading and going in again. Meanwhile, the Rangers were able to use the time that Wilbanks had bought them and started to retreat. Wooten later said, on each pass, I could hear his plane being hit. Another bird dog in the area, piloted by Lieutenant Colonel Norman Muller, said he could see Wilbanks jinking and going in for the dive. He got on the radio and told Wilbanks to get higher. He was just 100 feet off the ground, firing at the enemy. Sergeant First Class Clifton Tanksley, another advisor said, it looked for a while like nothing they could do would stop him because they were all firing at him. Me and all my men are proud to fight beside a man like him. Wilbanks was trying to avoid the return fire when he slumped forward. The other bird dog flew alongside, but Wilbanks' plane ditched between the lines of the two opposing forces and flipped on its back. Two of the helicopter gunships got back into the fight and the Rangers pulled Wilbanks from the wreckage. Muller distracted the NVA with his own bird dog and a Huey Medivac came into land and evacuated Wilbanks. Captain Hilliard A. Wilbanks succumbed to his injuries on the journey to hospital. 
doubtless saving many lives with his actions, he was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor. Only one in five of our viewers is a subscriber. If that's you, please subscribe and support the channel. Thank you.